So I haven't been watching much lately. Who's the most famous Andy in the world? Living or, or ever? So you, you gotta put some respect on uh, Andy Kaufman in a wrestling match. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one's for you, uh, REM poster. You gotta put some respect on um, Andy Roddick, former tennis pro. Andy Warhol, very true. Very true, Andy Warhol. Many people are saying this. Andy Samberg might be the most famous, yes. Yes, delightful and also likely true. I go Warhol over Sandberg. It's a tough decision. I'm glad I'm not the one in the room when the decision's being made, okay? I don't want to be the one in the arena. Holy cow, we won. You really think Warhol clears Sandberg? I mean, I'm sure Warhol's done some good art, like uh, painting cans of soup or like boxes of laundry detergent or whatever and then throw in sick parties in Manhattan. But he's never made a piece of art like Hot Rod or Palm Springs. He's not even the most famous Sandberg. I think he's the most famous Sandberg. I personally can't think of a more famous Sandberg. Alexandi the Great. Now he might, he might clear Andy Sandberg. How many celebrity Ryans do you clear? In terms of popularity? Literally zero. <laughs> if they're celebrities. I would say I'm about as unfamous as you can be and still be considered a celebrity. It's an unfortunate name. What's wrong? Ryan's a perfectly fine name, in my opinion. The only thing about it is I do feel like it's kind of a product of its time. At least in North America, you don't hear about many Ryans like pre-1900. And I feel like people stopped naming their kids Ryan in like the year 2002. So like eventually, I, I, my theory for my own name is that it's going to be like a Bertha or a, a Muriel type situation. Where like the only like kids that are 70 years younger than me are going to be like, imagine having, hi Ryan, hi, how are you today? The same way we're like, imagine your name is fucking Winifred. <laughs> Son of a bitch. This is my future for sure. Kid from high school named Ryan married a girl named Ryan. No, I'm not making this up. That is, I mean, sharing last names can sometimes be confusing enough. But sharing first names, man, holy cow. Hey, I, this is a genuine question. You know how uh, when... Well, traditionally here, when people get married, I'm not paying two costs for a, a one one when I'm about to get two costs for a two two. Traditionally here, when a couple, when a heterosexual couple gets married, the woman takes the man's last name. Sometimes they take a hyphenated name. They become they go from Jan Levinson to Jan Levinson Gould. Does the husband also go hyphenated or is it does he not go hyphenated or is it dealer's choice dealer's choice second question what is dealer's choice because <laughs> i use it a lot but i do not know what it means some do some don't i mean i feel like i would i think i would take the hyphen because i feel like it's just wow it's a tough decision actually now that i think about it because a hyphenated name, I, I think it, it just seems more traditional for both spouses to have the same last name. Whether that's my last name, my wife's last name, or we both, we share the load and have a hyphenated last name, that sounds, either one is fine with me. But then I'm also, I bet having a hyphenated last name, it might not be anymore, but I bet for a long time, that shit like ruined web forms, right? Be one of those situations where you'd be like, oh, you can just do it online, and then you'd like, try to type in your hyphenated last name and it would be like, please call this number right now. Please, please don't use special characters in your last name, such as hyphens or anything with an accentegu on it. 